Breaking news, breaking news, breaking news. Renato Vega is officially a blue. He been unveiled by Chelsea Football Club today. Few minutes, you know, depending also on the time you're going to watch the video, of course. But he is a blue. And get in the comment section down below, say hi to me. And also say welcome and all the good wishes to our brother, Mr. Renato. Smash the like. Let's uh, try to get minimum 1,000 likes for our brother, Renato Vega. Anyways, you see him here officially presented in this video. He got the size. He got the swagger. He's very intimidating. Look at him. Tall, powerful, ready to kill ready for the premier league i'm loving the attitude from this guy man i'm loving it this deal could turn to be one of the best deals in the club recent histories because chelsea when we go for big names shiny names most of the time they fail and i will prove to you in this video stay tuned until the end i will prove to you why renato is better than Calafiori. Yeah, I'm telling you. So let me read some uh, some comment from people here. Bo uh, best Portuguese in the Premier League who say no. Uh, those are from Chelsea fans, of course. Ba Basel sold Calafiori and up upgraded with Renato and Chelsea pumped fake Arsenal into signing an expensive player and got the upgrade for less mm. chelsea fans really are going for it getting on arsenal at the moment i will talk to you about that comparison in a little while but let's just go and check on you know on comment here somebody said i was hearing names like uh, calafiori yeah you can say listen I'm still, if you gave me a, ch a choice, I was going to for Calafiori because of his, uh, you know, Euros and one season at, uh, at Bologna. But looking back, my friend, I'm telling you right now, like Chelsea got the better deal. I don't care what anybody else is going to say. We got the better deal here. Okay, so some more pictures from Chelsea here. I'm not going to go through everything because you already know. You probably already watched the video and read on the website. This is official from Chelsea. Welcome to the Blues, Renato Vega. Let's continue. Some quote. Renato said that I am a smart, aggressive player. Yes, smart, aggressive be aggressive but smart because you might get a red card so i love it i'm comfortable on the ball and i would describe myself as a complete player due to my versatility wow the brother is backing himself he doesn't need you to say it he's just like yeah i'm good i'm that good <laughs> just like muhammad ali and uh, Michael Jordan, I'm that good. You have to believe me. I'm the guy. <laughs> you can call it arrogance, but hey, this brother is backing himself. I'm comfortable in many positions on the pitch. I wouldn't say I have a favorite position because I depend on your opponent or tactical element. But I have played as a left back, center back, and as a defensive midfielder. I like to defend a lot and with my height, yes, the physical aspect here, the height. We have some height in the defense finally. Height and phys physical strength, yeah, he's like a tank, big Kali. <laughs> I enjoy it. I like to control the game with or without the ball very very important this is going to be one of the smartest businesses chelsea have done in the last uh, past years keep an eye open and also keep an open mind don't just jump 
oh Chelsea have zero ambitions we should have gone for Calafiori or other players more experienced forget about that experienced players don't walk always at Chelsea where is Aubameyang where is Sterling where is Koulibaly okay so you have to give this young man a chance <laughs> So let's read some more quotes before I give you the bomb. I tell you why this guy is better than Califiori. So he continues, Diego Moreira is my boy because they used to play together. They used to be together actually at Sporting. Remember that? I know him from the national team. I look forward to seeing him here because I haven't actually got a chance to catch up with him. Uh, that will be... A special moment <sighs> unfortunately Diego Moreira might not even stay at Chelsea next season or come on preseason he might go straight on loan but it would be very very important to see uh, them connect v Viga continue I am absolutely buzzing to be here how can how how can you even explain that he was already in training camp with Basel he didn't know anything. All of a sudden, boom, brother, take your belongings, go because Chelsea are calling. Wow, what a shock. What a moment it was for him the first time he heard that, hey, you're going to Chelsea because everything happened very, very quickly. A lucky boy, but also Chelsea are lucky to have him. <laughs> he said that uh, the biggest club in England for him, okay, he calls Chelsea the biggest club. Amen. I'm going to take that. I take that. <laughs> I am just really excited to get started. Wow. This is this is something, my friend. This is something. I am buzzing. I am happy about this deal. And let me bring my conspiracy theory here before we finish this video. So, Calafiori is somebody that everybody wanted but people closed their eyes not to see this brother's injury record we do that all the time with Fofana when I was making videos saying that this brother is gonna spend more time in the hospital than on the pitch people called me all kind of names one year out without playing football for Fana and we don't even know how good or bad he's gonna be after a broken leg and an ACL injury the same feeling to this brother here, Mr. Ricardo Calafiori. Look at the list of injuries. ACL injury. Have you seen any player that came back from an ACL injury and be 100% the entire season? No. Look at Van Dijk. Look at Zuma. Look at all the big names. Falcao. All those big names that went through ACL injury. They come back, they can be good at a certain level, but they are not going to reach that level anymore. You have to be absolutely a monster, like Ibramovic or something, because he went through also that kind of injury, but he came back stronger. But the problem is you're going to get injured all the time. Small niggles here and there because your knee is not the same anymore. They, they, they replace some artificial things inside there. I can't explain everything. But your knee is not natural anymore. So this guy got an ACL injury, an MCL injury, tons of muscle injuries, hamstring injuries, and the most important, look at the amount of time that he missed out. He missed almost two years. Yes, do, you know, pause this video and calculate all the days that he was out. 290 days, 42 days, 26 days, 26 days, 23 days, 39 days, 25 days, 3 days, 13 days, 28 days, 34 days, 4 days, 7 days, four days three days you can go on and on and on this brother got the worst injury you can imagine calafiori and i'm afraid when he comes to the premier league with the weather and the physicality in the premier league 
he might find himself more time in the hospital than on the pitch. I'm not wishing that. Fingers crossed he doesn't get injured anymore because I want to see him bowling ball in the Premier League. But I'm afraid of this kind of injuries. Chelsea don't need another, another Fofana. Chelsea don't need another Nkunku. Badi Ashile was out for eight months. Chaloba was out for six months. Rhys James been out and missed almost three years of football since he started playing for Chelsea first team. It's incredible. It's incredible to add even more people with a lot of injuries like this. And if you go to Renato Vega, look at him. Clean record. He doesn't miss any game. He missed a couple of games or three games last season because of suspension. Yellow card. Accumulation of yellow card. I couldn't find anything wrong with his health. I found some viruses here and there, you know. But nothing, nothing. Clean record. So in my book, Chelsea got a better deal. We have just to develop him, give him time to learn, make mistakes and learn from those mistakes because he's not a finished article yet. But he got potential. We, we are covered. We are covered. If we have a center back who is struggling or who is injured, we have Renato we have a midfielder who is struggling, who is injured. Renato is going to be there. A left back or whatever position you put him, this brother is going to cook. He is the real deal and he is better than Ricardo Calafiori.